well, tell me a little bit about ca- pa- casting Pete Davidson because he he gives mm-hmm. a really great performance in the movie. I don't think people would expect that from yeah. him. So what was the decision behind that? Uh, well, first I started design to design Mirage, and like it started from there. It was like, all right, I wanted an outcast, I wanted a rebel uh, as an Autobot, and then as we started looking at names, it just felt like I saw Pete Davidson's face on a card one day, and I was like. P. Davidson feels like a rebel, man. And so, like, uh, I was like, I'm interested. And the studio was very much on board. Uh, they thought it was an interesting touch. They thought they loved his comedy. And so mm-hmm. when we actually brought him into the room, he auditioned for it. He just killed it. Mm-hmm. Like, when he auditioned for the film, he was doing a little bit of ad-libbing and freestyling. We brought those pieces into the movie. It was like he was writing right there on the spot. And then when we were actually in the booth, he just kept trying to top his jokes, mm-hmm. top the moment. And it just felt good, you know, especially with somebody who's also familiar with the 90s and bringing in the culture a bit from the 90s era. Uh, Pete Davidson really did his thing as Mirage. Mirage was always written as a kind of tongue in cheek, sarcastic rebel. He was a rebel. And, you know, Pete. And when you're looking to cast that, like, how do you say this is a rebel? And Pete has always sort of marched to his own drum. So. We didn't know it was going to be this good. How could you, in a way? It was the perfect synthesis, as it turned out. You know, it was it was definitely a conversation with the studio that was um, active. You know, because people were like, "Well, we've never seen him in something like this, and what is it?" And and often they were looking at it from the perspective which I understood was the traditional comedian. He's not a traditional comedian, and I think that's what makes it feel very unique. When I was doing ADR and you know I'm dubbing my my uh, my voice on the and I'm watching the scenes on the screen and I'm like yo it's Pete is absolutely destroying he's killing this right now like he's so funny you know he's so New York like you could feel that Staten Island vibe from him you know anybody from New York knows you know they 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 like he's he's just uh, he's amazing he's super super talented and um, you know it's. He was perfect, man. He's perfect, you know. He did so. He did so well, and he was extremely funny throughout the entire film. Mm-hmm. It was like, have chemistry right. with people you never met, like <laughs> yeah. aren't yeah. actually interacting with. Like yeah. that's a testament to his talent. Yeah, it really go, is. Pete, go. Right. All right. <laughs> go, Pete. Go, Pete. Go, We're waiting for your man. Right. Exactly. Promising right. young gentleman. <laughs> He's struggling so much in his career. <laughs> oh.